Solutions of Systems Equations. Okay, we have the following problem. They give us y is equal to negative 8x minus 3. And then it has x plus y is equal to 7. And we want to know if this is the solution of uh, these equations. Now, this uh, 3, 4 here has to work for both. So I'm going to put this uh, a 3 for the x and a 4 for the y. So the first equation is y is equal to negative 8x minus 3. So I'm going to replace the y with a 4. I'm going to replace the x with a 3. Now I'm going to do my math here. I'm going to get uh, negative 24 minus 3. So I get 4 is equal to a negative 27. So, so the very first problem I tried, it doesn't work. See, the thing is, when you, when you put 3, 4 in for the x for the first equation, not only does it have to give you a true uh, uh, statement for the first one, it also has to be a true statement for the second one. So it's got to be true for both of them. So it fails on the first one, so automatically this is going to be no. Okay, let's move on to the next problem. Okay, the next one, they give us the point 210. So we have the point 210. So this is my x, this is my y. So I'm going to start with the first equation. I'm going to take negative uh, 3 x minus 4 y is equal to 4. So I'm going to come over here and replace the x with a 2. And then I'm going to replace this y with a 10. Okay, I'm going to do my math. So I'm going to multiply. So I get a negative 6. And I get a negative 40. But when I take a negative 6 and a negative 40, that is a negative 46. And that does not match the 4. So again, it failed on the first try with the first equation. So if it fails in one of them, it's not a solution for both because it's got to be it's got to be yes for both of them. You have to get the same number on both sides for both of them. So this one would be no. Okay, now this problem here, they give us the point one two. So there's my x, there's my y. So now I'm going to have two uh, x plus y is equal to 4. So I'm going to say 2 times 1 plus 2 is equal to 4. So I get 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. So 4 is equal to 4. So it does match. So the first equation works. Now we have to try the second equation. So y is equal to 3x minus 1. So I'm going to replace the y with a 2. I'm going to replace the x with a 1 and uh, go ahead and solve this down. So I already got a 2 on this side. This is 3 minus 1. And notice I have 2 over 2, and that matches on both sides. So when I put in uh, 1, 2 in both equations, I get matching numbers on both sides. So this is yes. OK, next question, I have 2, 12. So this time I have the point 2, 12. So there's my x and there's my y. So I'm going to take the first equation, which is uh, 5x plus 2, replace the y with 12. Now replace the x with 2, multiply it. I have 10, so I get uh, 12 is equal to 12. So the first equation works. The next equation, we have uh, 4x minus y is equal to 0. So I'm going to say 4 times 2. And then I'm going to say minus 12 and see if that does equal 0. So I'm going to take 4 times 2 is 8 minus 12 and see if that equals a 0. Well, actually, 8 minus 12 is actually a negative 4. And a negative 4 and 0 is not the same. So it went ahead and failed on the second equation. So my overall answer is no.